had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday Hey loves, it's Brianna Kay. You might know me as Bits of Brie over on my blog or Instagram. In today's video, I would love for you to clean and decorate with me for Valentine's Day. I know that not everyone decorates for Valentine's Day, so do it vicariously with me if you'd like. Let me know in the comments if you are decorating for Valentine's Day or not. And I'm curious, let me know what colors you're using this year. Are you decorating with reds or pinks or something else? I decided to change things up from my Valentine's Day clean and decorate with me video last year. I got crafty and I did some DIYs and I went with an array of pinks and mauves and purples this year so that I can transition into spring decor just a little bit easier. And I just already, I can't believe Valentine's Day is just over a month away. Time just feels like it's flying, doesn't it? And I did ask over on my Instagram yesterday if you had any questions for me. So during parts of this video today, while I'm cleaning and decorating for Valentine's Day, I'll also be answering some of your questions from that Q&A. And if you have any more questions for me, leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer as many as I can for you. And I just hope that you enjoyed today's clean and decorate with me video for Valentine's Day 2020. Be sure to click the thumbs up if you like it. And I'm so excited to be collabing with two incredible women here in the YouTube space, the lovely Lisa Prideau and Amy Darley. Lisa is a UK mommy. She has three adorable boys. She's gorgeous and her home decor is so feminine and glamorous and girly. I just find her so motivating and inspiring and I know that you will too. And Amy Darley is a mama based in Savannah, Georgia. She has a sweet boy and a sassy girl. She lives in a gorgeous farmhouse and she makes such motivating cleaning videos. I just love seeing what she does with her decor every single season. So please, when you're done watching my clean and decorate with me video, head over to Lisa and Amy's clean and decorate with me videos. I'll link them in my description box. Check out their Valentine's day decor and get some extra cleaning motivation. I'm sure you need it this Monday and please let them know in their comments that I sent you. And I hope that if Lisa or Amy sent you here, please subscribe and check out some of my other organizing and decluttering videos. I've done some clean with me videos lately so that you have lots of clean motivation and we can be our best selves for 2020. So now that you've cleaned the kitchen with me, it's time to decorate with me. I'm putting out these pink plaid placemats that I found on Amazon, which by the way, I will link all of my decor in this video in my description box in case there's anything you see that you would like for your home. But I love that these can go from now until spring. I definitely want to keep them up for Easter decor too. That video will be in a couple of months, but I got a coordinating apron and oven mitts and dish towels. I also found a table runner. So there's a lot of options if you like this print, depending on what you're interested in for your space. And I love switching out these little jars for each season and decorating my three tiered stand for every season or holiday. And I got a couple of new greenery pieces that I know I can reuse for different seasons on this tray. But I thought it would be really fun for Valentine's Day to make little candy jars and let the candy sort of add the color, add mini champagne bottles. And I got some flowers and hearts from Dollar Tree to keep it budget friendly. 
and I just filled up the coffee mugs I already have with them. So it was all shades of pinks and different textures. And I just love these little candy jars with the white hearts on the top from Walmart. Again, so budget friendly. You will have to let me know in the comments if you like this year's Valentine's themed three tiered tray. I hope you like these ideas. And I was thinking I'd like to try a St. Patrick's Day one for March. I've never done one before, but let me know if you would like me to do that and share it with you too. I also had some other heart-shaped candy dishes that I already had, and I got a new mug from Kirkland's, it was only like $6, and a candy jar from the Target dollar spot to just add some more color to the kitchen counters. My favorite thing to do for Valentine's Day is to add in fresh roses. I splurge on this. I did this last year, and I just loved how it looked on the island. So I got different pink and mauve roses, filled my mason jars with them, and. I just love how romantic it makes the kitchen feel. Now for the family room area. I decided to change things up in here from last year where I did whites and blushes if you remember that video or want to go back and watch it. But I have really been into mauves and purples right now. So I found some pillow covers on Amazon so that I could still use the pillows that I already have. I just got different sized ones that would fit my Euro size pillows, my 20 by 20 throw pillows, and the lumbar size ones. So I mixed them up with the pink and mauve pillows that I'd already had from last year. And I seriously am so happy I did this. Even Adam, who rarely has anything to say about my decorations, he just kind of lets it happen. He told me that he thought this was the best our family room has looked with the new pillow covers. So I love that these colors can go from now through the spring. So let me know if you like how I changed things up in here this year. Are you digging the purple pillows and throws? And I got this entertainment center during a really good Labor Day weekend sale. So I pulled out some decor that I had from last year so I didn't have to buy too much and some picture frames and was just trying to decide what I was going to then still put on the mantle and the floating shelves and what could possibly then go on the entertainment center since it's a new space. And I found some Volu Spa candles on sale in this rose ice cream scent, which they smell amazing for Valentine's Day. It's such a good scent. And I found some purple mailboxes from the Target dollar spot just to go with the other splashes of purple decor in here. And I decided to use this rose gold table runner from past parties for the coffee table. And I found these adorable little pink heart boxes at Walmart. And they also had this purple candle. They had it in white and pink in the same color container. I love them all, but I shopped with Presley and she picked out the purple one. For the mantle, I found some purple glasses at Hobby Lobby that I filled with Dollar Tree roses just to tie in some more of the purple color from the couch.
Now for the entertainment center, I had some decor that can be used year round that I wanted to add some pops of color to. So I put a green garland on the top with those mailboxes and I added the candles and the little floral jars that I'd gotten from the Target dollar spot last year, just around the picture frames that can be up year round. And I just felt like there needed to be a little bit more color here. So I'm gonna do a DIY and fix up this space a little later in this video. So stay tuned. So I'm going to be having a Galentine's Day party with my girlfriends and I decided to make these really cute glitter ice cubes that I saw on Pinterest, of course. <laughs> so the idea is on there. But just want to warn you, do not actually put these into drinks. They should only be used in an ice bucket for decorative purposes because you don't want to drink this glitter. So this first DIY is so easy. Just fill up your ice cube trays and add in the glitter until the top of the cubes are pretty much covered and freeze them overnight. This just looks so glamorous. You could do this for any party. Just change the glitter to match the color of the party scheme or whatever the holiday is. And I feel like the ice cubes are just such a fun way to get created. I've added cranberries and rosemary for Christmas, small flowers in them for Presley's tea birthday party in a past video. And they're just fun to add a little extra to any party, which, you know, extra is my style, but it's really not that hard. <laughs> So the next DIY is for adding some color to the entertainment center. Like I mentioned, I got a mix of hardcover and paperback books from Goodwill. So inexpensive. And for the paperback ones, you just rip off the covers and I'm using some paint sponges from Dollar Tree and some different shades of pink and purple paint. And I'm just coating the front, back and spine of each book. Once they are dried overnight, I grouped the books in small stacks and I tied some twine around them and I just took a little Dollar Tree rose and added that to the top of the twine. And it just makes for a really cute DIY decoration that can help add color to your spaces. It could also be painted white if you wanted to just have some filler on shelves and keep everything very, very neutral. And one idea I had though for Valentine's Day is if you find romance novel labels and glue those onto the spine, you could have different romance novels on your shelves for Valentine's Day. I didn't get that extra with this DIY, clearly, but an idea for you if you want to. So this is a tortilla pizza recipe that I got from Amber Lancaster on Instagram. And what you wanna do is take a burrito-sized tortilla and brown it in olive oil on both sides and then put it on a pan with tin foil yes olive oil and then you want to take pizza sauce yeah that apple's going to be for um on, with your dinner with your pizza just put the tomato sauce on here and you want to make sure it's spread all the way to the outside and then you're just going to put mozzarella cheese all over the top make sure this is spread out then all the way to the end of the tortilla as well I've got a little helper here you watching you're hungry huh this is good we made these the other day and I know they ate it all up and then Landon and Presley like black olives on their pizza like mother like son and daughter and then I just got my Italian seasoning out of my spice rack that I organized in one of my last Clean With Me videos. I'm sorry, the camera's probably gonna shake while I shake this a little bit. Um, just put some Italian seasoning over the top of the pizza. And then you want to pop it in the oven on broil for five to seven minutes so that the cheese gets nice and browned and bubbly. And then what I have for me and Adam, since we're trying to eat really healthy before our vacation, I have like sweet lettuce mix and I put raspberries and a chopped apple 
There's walnuts, and then I did pepper jack cheese on mine. I have a feeling he's gonna want mozzarella though, so I'm waiting until he gets home. And then I had some leftover steak meat. So I'm gonna put mine on my salad, but I think he just wanted, like I have an actual steak for him, <laughs> like all stuck together when I reheated it. I have an actual steak for him in here that he can have on the side if he wants it. And I'm just gonna use olive oil and, where's my balsamic up here? Balsamic and salt and pepper then for dressing on these. So very healthy and full of protein and fruits and veggies. Okay, and here is the final result of that pizza. It's a good like lower carb version of pizza. The kids love it, which is most important that it's toddler approved. So I'm gonna serve it with raspberries and apples for them. So now it is day two of decorating. I usually do my decorating in bits these days because there's just so much going on between the kids and other work stuff and other housework I need to get done and we're traveling a bunch this month. So I'm getting started in the foyer today and I just wanted to keep it simple in here. I found these adorable puffball garlands from an Etsy shop called Juju Be Goods. I will have them linked because they had so many other colors and holiday options. But I thought it would just be fun for the foyer table and above the foyer bench to hang these in here this year, add some color, and I printed out some new photos from our Europe trip this summer and of the kids at Adams Brothers wedding when they were the ring bear and flower girl. If you saw that catastrophe down the aisle on Instagram, oh Lord. But I just thought Paris is so romantic. So that I made that one the big picture. And then Landon took a picture of us in Greece. So I was just trying to keep it all very romantic for Valentine's Day. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm having a Galentine's Day wine night party with my girlfriends, so I wanted to share the decorations with you in case you think it's a fun idea so that you can do it with your friends too. I got these balloons on Amazon and the string lights have been up. They're just gonna be staying up. I like them. But I wanted to ask your opinion. I'm using the same tablecloths that I had for Presley's birthday party for this, the white sequined ones. And the gold chargers I'm reusing from Friendsgiving. So I did get a pink plaid table runner. Do you think this looks better? Or does the gold glitter one that I'd had from other Thanksgivings and parties look better? Let me know your thoughts. I was a little bit torn. I ended up leaving the gold one up because I figured I can use the plaid one for Easter for sure. But let me know your thoughts. I kind of thought the gold was a bit more Galentine's glam, but let me know. I also found these really cute purple and pink heart wreaths at TJ Maxx this year and I love them. I thought they were so cute and they just went so well with all the other colors that I was putting around the house. And I did get a new bar cart from Target. I love the gold. I thought it would be so fun to decorate this for the wine night and just other holidays or parties that we have. And I just really loved my sister-in-law's when we visited her in Austin in November. And for the bar cart, I got a bunch of different bottles of rosé. I feel like getting all the same might have looked a little more chic and organized, so just in case you're trying to do this. But I did want to get a variety to see what other people liked, some sparkling, some not. And I filled up these dollar spot candy jars with some different gummies, and I used little pink paper doilies from the Target dollar spot under the jars. And I feel like that dressed it up a little bit. I also got these cute paper straws that I used on the three-tiered stand as well. And I found a garland in the dollar spot with a little pink, different shades of pink um, ruffled ice strung across the cart. And I found a pink feather boa on Amazon, super inexpensive, but strung that across the back. 
Again, I'll link where everything is off from, but I really love how it turned out. I just think it is so fun for the Galentine's Day wine night. And I did just wanna share this cute macaroon shaped value spa candle. I promise you I'm not cheating on Bath and Body Works. I just haven't had a chance to go to the mall and see what's out right now. And these were all on sale and the packaging was just so perfect for Valentine's Day. So that's why I picked them up. And these champagne glasses that I'm putting out right now, I'm gonna do some kind of a pretty rim and stir and do some kind of champagne cocktail closer to the party. I'll probably share that over on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there if you're looking for ideas. Now I've got a couple more DIYs, one that I totally failed on, but I will tell you how to do it better so that you do not fail like I did. Um, I got some mason jars and some Dollar Tree glass tea lights, so very inexpensive. I'm using the same glitter that I used for the ice cubes just to keep it all coordinated. And Mod Podge, make sure you get the glossy kind that dries clear and coat the inside with that Mod Podge and then coat them in the glitter. To make this dry quickly, use a paintbrush and do a very light coating of the Mod Podge. I'd poured some into the jar to try to save time, but it was way too thick and it took forever to dry. So I couldn't even show you how it looks completely dried in time for this video because there's still some undried glue showing. So do a very thin layer of the Mod Podge if you make these, don't fail like I did. And I really like the chunky glitter. Um, I really like putting it inside of the jar as well. It makes it less messy because all of the glitter stays inside. However, for the tea lights, make sure you use battery tea lights because you don't want the real candles to light the glitter on fire. Hazard. <laughs> and I've gotten some gorgeous blush chalk spray paint. I shared on Instagram, I had all intentions of spray painting some of the dollar spot mailboxes but it was way too cold here all week, so I couldn't spray paint anything. So I ended up making do. I painted a couple by hand and stuck on some dollar spot chalk heart stickers they had this year to match the ones they had a few years ago that I got with Landon and Presley's name on them, and I wrote me, Adam, and Coley's name on. And those books that I'd painted the day before, I wanted to add them to the entertainment center and I had also ordered a rose gold sequin pillowcase that hadn't come in the mail until day two. So I added that to the couch and I feel like it just adds the right amount of fun and sparkle for Valentine's Day. I also, because I got those pictures printed, I replaced the family picture with one from over the summer just to have a more current one in the frame. Want you back, back, want you back, back, back. Some say that love don't hurt, but I've got you stuck in my memory. Some say that hearts come first, but they've never known what it's like to be. In love at 20 years old, we kiss in the rain till we catch a cold. Some say that love don't hurt, but I want you back, back, cause I've got you stuck in my memory. There were also a few Etsy items that came in the mail on day two from Lacey Bell's shop. These adorable mini stacked books, they could go in a three tiered stand. I like them here by our wedding picture. And there was also some Ray Dunn font style rolling pins for my three tiered tray that I just had to add into that decor. They sent them to me, I thought they were so cute. I will have their shop linked down below. Want you back, back, want you back, 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 yeah. I want you back, back, want you back, back, back Some say that love don't hurt But I've got you stuck in my memory Some say that hearts come first But they've never known what it's like to be And if you love the Ray Dunn style decor Our nest decor also had some really cute wooden holiday signs Also on Etsy I always like supporting my fellow Etsy shops um, I got a Valentine's Day one, and I also picked up a St. Patrick's Day and an Easter one, too, that I figure I can use with the three-tier stand or somewhere else around the house when I decorate, but I will also have their shop linked. Now, I'm just doing a fast after-lunch tidy-up in the kitchen, so if you've got a room to tidy up, clean with me. And I did just want to mention, I've been doing a devotional on the YouVersion Bible app called Made Like Martha. If you're type A, 
a doer, you might really enjoy it. I know sometimes my feelings have been hurt by people saying, you do too much, you're making other people feel bad, but I'm sure you know that that is never my intent. And at the end of the day, God knows my heart. He's given me these skills. I have loved decorating for years. Back when I was a teacher, I would win best decorated classroom. I just love it. And I feel so blessed to share my home with you here on YouTube. And I just wanted to share this devotional in case you've been made to feel bad for being a doer. I think sometimes it can be a stereotype with women too, like we shouldn't be the ones doing all these things all of the time, but God designed you to be that way, just like he designs other people to be more laid back and chill. So we're supposed to appreciate each other's differences, balance each other out, help one another and love one another. And by the way, I've gotten some questions on this. My posting schedule for 2020, Mondays in January, except the week of MLK, I'm either going to post Sunday or Tuesday in respect to that holiday in the US. So be on the lookout on Instagram. And I will also be letting you know my February posting schedule soon. We just travel a lot this month. So I've been trying to make my videos longer and more jam packed. So I hope you've been enjoying them. What you don't do And do is don't watch So let's get to it Let's get it done You Step it up a notch We can do it We can get it done The last room I'm decorating today is the kids' room. I got these balloons on Amazon and just had a local party shop put the helium in. I thought this was just a fun way to decorate the buffet table and I found this XOXO gold glitter sign in the Target dollar spot and I'm using the dollar spot mailboxes that I did in the DIY portion and the, some of the books that I DIY'd and I found these wooden roses on Amazon and I'm just putting them into some mugs and some teapots that I already had so that this table is bright and cheery for Valentine's Day for the kiddos. Now for this table, I found some adorable pom-pom placemats in the Target dollar spot and some pink heart plates, and I just love how this table turned out. Now over the piano, I got these prints made on Fracture, and I designed the I Love You Forever, Like You For Always prints to go with these Valentine's Day pictures from when the kids were babies because we say that every single night before they go to bed. Um, it's from the book, Love You Forever. It's I love you forever, like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. So I just thought it was perfect for a little Valentine's Day decor that's very sentimental. And then I used those mason jars that I DIY failed and the banner and some felt flowers that I found at Target that I thought coordinated really well with all of the colors in the prints in this space. So here are some close-ups of everything. You'll have to let me know if you like how this room turned out. Take me back to when we were kids and they didn't care if we were acting stupid cause all we had was us. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Cause honestly, I don't have no time to waste. I'm trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. And here's a close up of that DIY fail. The glue just didn't dry completely, but I do think that once it does, they'll be really pretty. I'm just sorry I can't show you a better final product example. Perfectionist problems. <laughs> and I had a few finishing touches I just wanted to do in the dining room. You know, the extra perfectionist over here. I had some pink plaid napkins I found at Hobby Lobby that I put on each table setting. I wasn't sure if I was gonna save those for Easter or not. I ended up putting them out and I wanted to do some flowers on the table, so I got the faux flowers I'd used for Presley's birthday, repurposed those, and used my Mackenzie Child's pitcher and some coffee mugs. And I just tried to keep it simple with that large centerpiece and two small ones to offset it. 
but let me know if you like the nearly finished dining room. I do just have to get some gold utensils to set out before the party. We were meant to be. And I just wanted to let you know my next video, we're tackling my ultimate cleaning list together. So make sure that you sign up for my free printables on bitsofbreeblog.com. Sign up for the newsletter and then we can tackle this cleaning list together. And I'm also going to be showing you my meal planning and budgeting and some recipes for Valentine's Day and football playoffs. And the Super Bowl's coming up, so make sure that your notifications are turned on so you don't miss that video. Let's end on a sweet note. We're gonna make some Valentine's dipped pretzels. These are so easy for you to make with your kiddos because they do not have to be perfect. You can have fun picking out any colors that you want, any sprinkles that you want. Just make sure that you have some parchment paper on hand. Oh baby, yeah. There was a part of me that knew that. And still I'm caught by surprise. I thought you'd always be mine. I got these candy melts in different shades of pinks and purples and white and Valentine's colored sprinkles and we dipped the pretzels in all the different colors and then we just drizzled a different color over each pretzel after it was dipped and added on the sprinkles while they were still wet. They turned out so cute and I just love how fun the colors are. Thank you so much for watching my Valentine's Day clean and decorate with me video for 2020. Please subscribe if you're new, make sure your notifications are on, and if there was anything you liked in this video, I'll have a bunch of links in the description box. And please head over to Lisa Pradell and Amy Darley so that you can get more cleaning motivation and see their Valentine's Day decor this year. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, love. Yeah. And I thought it